Well, hello, you guys. We are so excited to be here together. Rebecca and I are joining forces to bring our new arrivals the destination to you. Now tonight, even though we're live, it will be a little bit different experience, but we're super excited about it because with all of this backed up, you know, shipping containers and everything else, there are some pieces that even as stylists, we were not allowed to get our hands on before this opportunity. So we started racking our brains of how we could actually bring these to you live in the best way possible. And Rebecca put to put together a really cool PowerPoint so we can actually present each piece, whether we have it or not, and give you all the fabulous details on the fabrications, the way they're gonna fit. And then at the very end, we are going to talk to you about the pieces that we have live. So if everybody can just go ahead and mute. And also a reminder that we are recording this. If you don't want your faces shared, then you might want to hide your camera because we are going to send this out on an email later today. Um, but we are gonna go ahead and jump in to all of the pieces. And then, uh, as I said, at the end, we are going to show you the pieces that we were able to get live and we're so excited about it. So Rebecca, you are sharing your screen now and I'm just gonna make sure now, in this point, if you guys want to ask a question, there is a little reaction button down in the bottom, and I will be kind of watching for your reactions. If you want to click on the reaction, if you have a question during that slide on the PowerPoint, you can put it in the chat box and we can try and answer it as we go, or you can save your question for the very end. Um, but we're definitely gonna do everything that we can to cover each piece. So Rebecca, why don't you? All right, well, this is the Baskerville topper. And I will tell you, this is one of the ones that we could not get on, but I am so doggone excited about it. This poncho silhouette several different times. And um, I feel like this one has more shape to it than a lot of the ponchos in the past. Plus it has a hood and it has pockets on both sides. It's fully reversible. So um, you can have this little puppy tooth, hound's tooth on one side, and then this rich um, brown on the other side and pockets no matter which way you decide to wear it. I just think it's absolutely lovely. This piece is sized extra small and small and medium large. So you have two size options. Make sure and visit with your stylist about which would be the best option for you. It is 200, it's 81% polyester, 15% rayon and 4% spandex. So it's gonna have really good stretch and recovery to it. Um, you've got the hunter tartan on one side, the little hound's tooth on the other. It is um, just, an absolutely beautiful piece. It's got three button closures on each side and it hits at the mid hip. So um, super fun, updated fall layering piece that I cannot wait to get my hands on. Okay, and Lorraine says she loved that necklace. I'll have to go back and see which one our model is wearing. Now this puff piece is something that is so, oh, go back to the puff, puff piece if you can. Oh, we're going somewhere. Oh, well, we're not reversing. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go back to our yellow puff piece, which is this really cool jacket. If she can get us there. Okay, pause it there. It's this really cool winter jacket. It is lined with polyester. So other than down, it is lined with polyester. They did that because it's a little more um, allergy friendly. It is an acid yellow, so it's not the green that we have in the touring jacket. It is actually more of that true mustardy yellow. It's a little oversized with a cropped body, but the cool part about this jacket is they have the zippers in the sleeves, so you can kind of make a fun bishop sleeve. The back on the jacket has a sheen to it where the front is matted, so it just gives it a really cool look and touch and a little bit of just dimension and texture. Um, and then welt pockets, it's the, the nylon front, the nylon coated in the back. 
It does cinch at the waist and it is mid hip. This is one I'm super excited about and puffer, puffers are now all the rage on the runway. So I'll go ahead and mute and you can get us to the next one. All right, this ribbon trim blouse. You have this dainty blavy, so it's black and navy, our combination that we love, know and love. Um, dainty ribbon print that's going throughout this white blouse. The silhouette on this is gonna have similar arms to the favorite blouse that's on our current line. And then if you notice, it's got just some sweet little um, ruffle type detail at the shoulders as well as along the collar. It is a full button front, 100% polyester piece, size extra small to extra large. And it's just, it's kind of like the corsage blouse that's on the main collection. It's chock full of fantastic designer details. And if you're one that wants to have just kind of an elevated little white blouse, this would be a really, really sweet piece for you. It's, um, going to be super easy to wear either professionally or dress up your favorite pair of boyfriend jeans or destructed denim to just really give that juxtaposition of very feminine and kind of roughed up and rugged. I think um, Rebecca and I really want to point out as well there's really not any pieces that we have that are live and we will discuss it then that are fitting oversized. Everything is running very, very true to size. Even pieces that maybe traditionally were running a little bit big other than the Serenity tee. So we want to just clarify that with you. Now this sweater coat, you guys, if this is on your list, do not wait. This is a piece that during the stylist or early ordering period, at 8 a.m. was the time that we were able to order. And at 8.10, it was sold out completely in every single size for the sizes, for the availability that the stylist had. Um, I know Rebecca had it in her cart, got distracted, and came back at 8.24, and it was already removed from her cart. So that being said, the sweater coat is absolutely amazing. It's got a nice weight to it. It's cotton, acrylic, and a few other fibers, but there's no itch. The buffalo check is so cool. It is a slim fit, but it's got that, it, like I said, it's got a nice weight to it because of the intarsia knit. The wrap front is so fun. And then the little, if you notice the buttons on them, they're the, the little toggles that we love so much, so much fun. And then the hood is oversized. So I even imagine wearing this, you know, with a fun dress or even layering this kind of having the hood come out of something, but it's definitely going to be a great transitional coat, especially for those of you in the South that maybe you don't need a real heavy, heavy coat during the winter. Um, the long sleeves and the pockets on the side seams are so cool. So there are pockets, you can't see them well in the picture, um, but it is a knitted it's not printed. If you can look through the lapel, you can see it's actually knitted all the way through. And it is our classic navy and the gold and winter white. So again, this is one that is going to sell out in every size, guaranteed. Rebecca and I are both dying to get our hands on it. So definitely a sellout piece. And that being said, you know, in the past, they've been able to do a few reorders on new arrivals, but the way that the shipping and everything is being delayed, they are just not going to be able to do that. So there for sure will be sellouts this season. Yeah, I was just on a call with some other stylists that um, we were talking about new arrivals there. And while, you know, we're talking about sellouts and it is going to be a very real thing, don't have, don't keep that from getting your reserve request to your stylist simply because even if we can't get it for you in this original ordering time frame, we may be able to snag it later on because there's going to be returns and exchanges. And so don't give up. We will work our hardest for you to try to get you that piece. All right. So this sumptuous button fly skinny cord is amazing. It's in the color we're calling sapphire, which is the same as what I'm wearing. So it's a really gorgeous navy um, 
and it's just going to be so beautiful to wear with everything. An updated version of a neutral. Uh, we've not ever had a navy cord, so it's just I'm super excited about it. So this does have a higher rise than what you're used to in um, our cords. So know that it is the skinny silhouette that you know and love, and it's in that super soft baby whale corduroy. So um, just a fantastic piece. Update of the Moroccan blue that is on our regular line, which is right there behind me, but um, another fun color to add to your closet. Yeah, if you have known and loved our cords, you're gonna know and love that fabrication because it has not changed. Um, okay, the Seattle shirt. How many of us do not love flannel? I mean, if I have a good flannel, I grab onto it immediately. And I love that they've done this in a masculine color, a masculine fabrication, but they've added that beautiful little ruffle through it. Now it is 100% cotton. So make sure that you are aware it's cotton. It is running very true to size. So definitely do not size down. Um, it does have a slim fit and a button front and then a covered placket, which I think is so fun. There is a shirt collar. And then again, the cuffs even have a little ruffle. So if you look right above her finger, fingers right there, you can see there's a little ruffle. Now it does cover your hiney. So this one does have a little bit of length, but you can easily front tuck it or while you're transitioning, um, I think as well as Rebecca, we think it would be really fun unbuttoned all the way with just a cami underneath. And then think about spring, how cool it would be with a little white cami and some white um, shorts or something to wear sort of as an overcoat that way. So definitely versatile and a lovely, lovely flannel. Yeah, I don't know if you saw in the picture there, I kind of put the designer notes up and it showed that our design team showed it even um, tied in the front. So it kind of brought some of that length up was an additional way to style that piece. All right, the Fair Isle pullover, which I am wearing, this is so soft. It has a fantastic weight to it. It's not too heavy for our Southern gals um, and yet, this Kansas girl is going to be wearing this all winter long. Um, it does say that it has a slim fit, which made me think, hmm, I may want to size up in this because of um, just how I like my sweaters to fit. Also, I wanted a little extra length. However, I would say that you just stick with your normal size, unless you're overly busty or if you carry weight through your middle, then you'll want to visit with your stylist about sizing options on that. I 100% would not size down in this piece. It has this gorgeous asymmetrical fair aisle print that is just so fun. And you can see I've got, she has the collar zipped up, which then you have a little mock turtleneck, but you can also unzip this and just have an asymmetrical look to um, the collar. So it's got nice thick rib, ribbed cuffs. It's soft on the body. It fits absolutely wonderfully. I think this is a fun piece to add to your closet. Well, and can I add on that one? I actually sized down because it was the only one I could get a hold of. I normally wear a small and um, the extra small was the only thing left available. So I bought it thinking, oh, sometimes I can do an extra small and it is so tiny. There's no way I could wear an extra small. So it is fitting very, very true to size. Now there is a question in the chat box that I think that I should answer right now um, because it might be one that you're all thinking right now. Oh my gosh, can I get these for my party? If your party is after September 24th and you wanna wait till your party, you are waiting till the inventory has been sold to our VIP re retail clients and to our hostesses, and you will have, you know, accessible to whatever is left. So if you want any of these pieces, they need to be ordered with our Google Docs so that we can place our orders the morning of the 24th. And 
if you're wondering about sizing on my Google Doc, I know at least, and probably Rebecca has a place where you can make a spot. If like the Fair Isle pullover, you're not sure if you want a small or a medium or a medium and a large, I would say order both sizes now and return one later. Um, I actually changed the Google Doc to where it's got check boxes instead of the multiple choice. So you can select two sizes and we'll order both those sizes for you. You can try them on if we get them and then we'll send back the one that does not fit. Well, and you you may not get either, or you may get both, or you may just get one, but at least you'll have, you know, these pieces are buy now, return later pieces. That's the only way to put it. As much as, you know, we don't want you to have to go through the trouble of returning something, um, these pieces are phenomenal. Okay, moving on to the twist yarn cardigan. This is a marled yarn, so you're going to notice just the look of the yarn gives it texture and depth, which is, I think, one of my favorite things about a sweater. I know Rebecca loves a marled yarn. This is one of those pieces where you're going to be able to put this on and wrap up in it, read a book, wear it with shorts in the spring. Um, it is a beautiful neutral. It's got a little bit of a boxy fit, but it is intended to be that way. Now, Last, I believe it was spring, we, maybe it was fall, we had one very similar to this that was pink that had a little bit of wool in it. And it was just itchy enough that our design team kind of giggled over and said, trust me, we've heard there was a little itch. So we just want to reiterate, there is absolutely no itch in any of these pieces. Now, this is a kind of a deep V. So if you button it all the way down from the front, you will obviously need a cami or something underneath it. Great patch pockets, bishop sleeves with ribbed cuffs, cable patterns on the front and the back. And that's one thing our design team is always fantastic about the intention of where the cabling goes and how it is detailed. And then wide ribbing on the sleeves, hems, cuffs, and the front. It does hit you have it hitting at the high hip, but I believe it's at the low hip. I could be wrong. Um, Rebecca, do you know? I thought it came the down. Collection, the collection notes say high hip, so okay. it's on there. Um, we don't have that one in person, so I, I would think it would be right kind of mid hip is probably a better guess on that one. Um, go ahead and take it off. Take it away, Rebecca. All right. Well, the next one, you know her, you love her. It's the Serenity Tea back in the first color that we're calling Sienna. And as you can see, if you have gotten to see the regular collection in person, this is um, the same color as our Explorer trouser that's on the main line. Now, there may be just a skosh difference in shade simply because they're not the exact same fabric content. So be aware of that, but they are, um, they're a match. So um, Serenity T is a silhouette that many of you know and love. It has kind of a wedge shape where it's, it's oversized on the top, dolman dropped, dolman sleeves, very fitted in the arm, and then um, fairly fitted around the, um, the waist. So most people can pull it down and have it as a um, hiney hider. It's more of a tunic length on many. If you have a very long um, upper body, then it's going to just fit like a nice long shirt. does have that flattering v-neck. And like I say, most of you that are on here that have shopped with this for a while, you know the serenity and it's, it's a hit. Yeah, and it actually speaks to the micro trend that we've been talking about, about the tonal dressing and really creating a beautiful monochromatic look. So tonally, they are an exact match, even though they might seem a shade different or two. The box stripe tee. Okay, now we did have, if you guys remember, we had a V-neck that was, what was it called, Rebecca? Relax game yeah. day sweatshirt. It was a several seasons ago. It was black and bright white. Now, this one has a similar sleeve, but it is a crew neck. The fabrication is our yummy, buttery fabrication that you've come to know and love. 
It's a broken stripe, but it is a winter white. So it's got a creamy background to it. And it is more of a blavy, so there's navy in it, but it can read black, but it really is a blavy. So it almost reads more like a charcoal than a black if you're gonna take it that direction. Um, this is a top that I thought, okay, I'm gonna have a lot of people wanna size down on it. And I got my true size, a small, and I am here to tell you there is no way I would size down on this. It's phenomenal. They, I almost feel like they've cut an inch or two off the width of this to make it a really nice boxy shirt that is fitting the way a boxy shirt should, not to oversize. It's also a little bit shorter, I think. It hits at the high hip. It's really, really nice. And it just has a lovely drapey feel to it. So I love the sleeves. Now keep in mind, anytime there's a bishop sleeve, our design team is giving you either a rib or an elastic waist or an elastic cuff. So you really can pull those sleeves up and have them stay out of your way. And this has a ribbed cuff and it is a very snug ribbed cuff. So there's another reason that you would not want to size down in that piece. All right, the recline tee. We have this in a gorgeous heathered olive on the main collection. It's been a favorite of my clients this season. And we brought this beautiful silhouette back in this color that we're calling Sapphire. It is a classic navy. Um, it's just got a fantastic silhouette to it. Very flattering on the body. It does have a V neck that you're not seeing there. So it's gonna be very similar um, in a V like the Serenity T that you just saw the front of, um, but it has that beautiful drawstring in the back. So you can wear it very loose and easy if you want to, or you can cinch it in a little bit and give more of a silhouette. So um, it's the same French Terry that we've had for several seasons now. Like I say, exact same fabrication as the one on the regular line, just a new colorway of this piece. It's a keeper. Yeah, and Alicia that is on here put on the Olive one at her show this week and was like, I have to have this. And I do have it hanging so you guys can see that V-neck, um, but only in the Olive color. Okay, the Daydream dress. This is our warm toned women's dream. Okay, so this is every shade of gold and orange and reds that you can even imagine thrown together. It is a polyester self and lining. It is a two for one. The center to back on the medium is 36 and a half inches in length. So that will give you some idea. Um, it's a poly crate floral, floral. So a similar shirt that you may have felt in the past would be like the bird watcher top or anything like that. It's that very similar um, shirt. It's car caramel, burgundy, pumpkin, and bright orange. And then this slip underneath, and I will be able to show, you, show it to you, is almost like a cinnamony pumpkin. We'll, we'll show you that when we get to it. There's a banded neck with gather, gathers button through all the way down in the front. And I love that detail on a dress because women that are a little more busty can unbutton a few buttons, show a little bit of that slip dress, maybe wear a belt and then even unbutton a few buttons towards the bottom. Um, it really helps create shape and silhouette. But the best part of this dress are the pockets, if I do say so myself. And then we have the bishop sleeves, again, with an elastic cuff. And this is really a great elastic cuff. I put it up to my elbow. It didn't feel too tight. It was really, really phenomenal. I will say this one feels a hint short for me. Um, and I know Rebecca felt the same way. So if you are petite and you are looking for a great length dress, this is phenomenal. If you are a little taller or have a little longer leg and you don't mind one that kind of comes up above the knee a couple of inches, this is gonna be a fantastic dress. I also think this would be a really fun dress to wear an over the knee boot with to kind of cover some of that leg a little bit and really glam it up. So this is, you know, you can have a lot of fun with it. It's a two for one and the colors are simply to die for.
Yeah. So I um, was telling Amy earlier that the slip is kind of a long tunic length on me and the dress is kind of mid thigh. So definitely not something that I would wear as a dress, but I love this so much that I can just wear this as a duster because it buttons up the front. I can completely just have that open. It has that really um, nice silhouette to it anyway. So it's going to lay beautifully on the body and I can pair it with like the white Paragon tank from the spring, a pair of white skinnies or a pair of destructed bottoms and just really have fun styling it up that way. So um, really a beautiful piece. All right, now the midnight dress. This is our mesh that you guys have come to know and love that we've had the last several seasons. It is double layered through the body and just a single layer of mesh sleeve. So it gives just a little bit of sexiness as does the center slit that comes kind of right to the knee. So um, really beautiful, very feminine. It is a navy base with um, like a, a caramel and that more um, citron type color that's in our um, the touring jacket. So really beautiful on the body. It's got just that little flounce at the sleeve as does it um, has that same at the hemline. So um, ruffle front along the V with a little bit of ruching loads of feminine details, beautiful silhouette, absolutely going to be a stunner piece for this fall. Oh, it is so pretty. Okay, you guys, I am wearing the superstar shirt. Now I have to tell you, I am more of a cool tone person. So yellows and golds are not my typical go-to. However, I love that they've added some taupe and it feels more like a camo. Um, it does not wash me out. So I just want to say that I actually am in love with this. The yellow is quite bright on it, but there are so many other muted tones on this blouse. I absolutely am in love with it. It's our really fantastic, beautiful poly. Um, the grounded neutrals are where I feel like I can truly wear this and love this. The russet is the same color as the training jogger. So it's got that kind of maroonish tone if you've seen that, but it does go back. It's not an exact tone um, of the olive to the trousers that you're seeing on her, but again, tonally, it really, really works. And then the black, the background of it is more of that winter white. So it's not even like a creamy tone. It's just, oh my gosh, it's yummy. It's an easy fit, but it is a very nice slim fit for a blouse. Um, I'm fairly broad in my shoulders, as you know, I can move in it just fine. I don't need to size up, but there's no way I could size down. And as far as my bust goes, my ladies are not coming out of it. So it's just, Honestly, it's cut just very true to size. Now this one does have cuffs on the sleeves. And as many of you know, I am a sleeve shusher and I don't love cuffs. So I actually did the little style trick with a little rubber band and I have my arms pulled up and I can show you that a little bit later. So I just have them open, but it's amazing. The shirt tail hem is one of my favorite details on any blouse that we have. And it is the same body style as the catwalk top that was sleeveless. So the catwalk top was that really cool. It almost looked like river pebbles that had the blues and kind of periwinkle blues and gray tones to it. However, it was sleeveless. So if you got that top and you love that top, this is a long sleeve version. But even if you don't like yellows or you're worried about yellows on your face, um, I really feel like there's enough neutral tones in this that it does not necessarily speak to yellow. So you can really pull the color out of it that you want. I think it's funny that we both are talking about the piece that we are wearing tonight and we totally didn't plan that. I know, kind of fun. Okay, so now we are gonna kick it up if you guys we are still recording, so if you're comfortable having your faces show, do that. If you are not, I'm gonna go ahead, you can put it on speaker view, 
Um, you can stay muted, but this is where you get to unmute to ask questions. We have the pieces that we have. We actually have duplicate pieces. Um, I don't think we have any. I don't think we have any that are different. So if you guys have questions, go ahead and let us know. If you guys don't have the Google Doc to place your orders, shoot us a text. We can just text our link over to you. Um, but go ahead and unmute if you have a question. If you want to see a detail up close, we can answer that. I have a question. This is Jolana about shipments. Are is everything going to be delayed or do you even no. know? No. So uh, so what happened is during so we were able to order these back on what the seventh or ninth somewhere anyway. Um, and what happened was a lot of the things had not arrived to cabby for us to do that earlier early ordering um we so we ordered our early things in two groups one that already shipped which we have behind us and then another order that is going to ship out this week and they weren't sure what day it was going to ship out but they felt confident that by the time we were ordering your stuff on friday that stock would be here. It was just, um, since we're able to order samples early, that's kind of how it is, so. Well, okay. and there are there are like 78 ships backed up in San Diego. And so that was part of it. They knew the inventory had landed, but they couldn't guarantee either when Cabby would get it in their warehouse. So I think the only one that would be questionable, questionable Jolana, is the yellow puffer, but- wow. And here in Texas, I would, it's yeah. gorgeous. I'd love to have it, but no, not, not in Tyler. So basically you're ordering on the 24th. Am I correct? Yes. I'm ordering okay. on Friday. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, Friday. I'd love to have the puff jacket, but. You, you guys, Rebecca's going to be here in Utah with me on Friday. So I'm so excited. You need your puff jacket then. <laughs> Yeah, it's oh, not wow. quite that cold here yet. And my sweater coat. I well, know. Hey, I, I had know. a friend that just left Colorado and it was 48 in Colorado Springs this morning. It's supposed to be 26 degrees here tonight. So it's starting <laughs> to cool off. Yeah. Hey, the, um, speaking of that sweater coat. Yes. The, I'm not a big, I'm not really great with yellow. So I don't know if that's colors for everyone because I definitely, I'm thinking that those um, sapphire cords are going to be like those, um, the brownish ones last season. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I want to get those for sure. And I love them with that sweater coat, but I'm just not sure about the, uh, that yellow. Is it, do you think? Well, since I haven't had the opportunity to see it in person, I can't answer that with honesty, Kim. And I would say that I would rather have you order it and return it than not order it and wish that you had. Um, I think that it, it's close enough. I feel like it would be worth getting it on its way to you if you're interested in it. And if it doesn't work, you're going to make somebody else's day by letting them have it um, if we're successful in getting it for you in the first place, which I feel like that's going to be one that sells out really fast. Well, I'd, I'd play up the, the cream. I, that's yeah. what I do. I would play the cream up and don't worry about the yellow. I do think the way they have it lined and ribbed with the Navy, I'm not really a warm tone person. I can do yellows, um, but I like it grounded with something. And I do feel like they have grounded that yellow. So if you really like it and you're on the fence, I would agree with Rebecca, order it and return it. Any other questions on fit? Bev, do you have a question? I, yes, I do. Um, I was wondering about that striped sweater. Um, does the stripes go in the back also? Oh, the one that Rebecca's wearing? Nope. No, no, the white one with the, the navy. No. Oh, that's the shirt. Yes. So let me grab it. Yeah. So it's actually a creamy. It's not, so it's not white. It's creamy. Okay. It's like a winter white. Okay. And it is a broken stripe that goes all the way around. Is it a t-shirt? Yes. It's the, it's the yummy oh. t-shirt fabrication. Oh, so it's the I same, see. it's the same t-shirt as the Serenity tee, like the same oh. fabrication. Okay. I see. 
All right. Um, and it is kind of boxy, isn't it? It's not, okay. Yes, it's boxy, but it's not oversized boxy. It's a nice drape straight down is the way I would describe it. It's okay. I feel like some of the boxy tops that we've had in the past are like, whoosh, you know, real like the relaxed tea. Okay. That one yeah. I felt like was just like, you could sway with the fabric. I really okay. feel like from the armpit down on this, they've cut it straight down. Okay. So it's just going to hang really nice in your size. Okay. It doesn't have an A-line silhouette like some of those, like the chill tee that we've had in the past, the ones that have been just really swingy around the bottom. I agree. Okay. It's just very straight. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And I was also going to ask about, oh, what's the name of that, that um, top, Amy? Um, that, in it, that one is the boxy striped tee, correct, Rebecca? Yeah, the boxy stripe tee. And on the Google Doc, Bever Beverly, Bev, that you fill out, I've never called you Beverly. No. Um, all of the shirts are, all you have to do is select the size. So just go through the Google Doc. You don't even really need to remember the name because the picture okay. is there. Okay. And then um, that navy t shirt that you have in the green behind uh -huh. you, um, is that v neck deep? No. It's a really nice high V. Um, okay. So this is the front of it. It's a straight front as well, which I really like because it allows you to either have it hanging down or do a little front tuck. And then you have great coverage in the back. It is a okay. raglan, it's a raglan sleeve as well. So okay. it just it just fit beautifully. And as I said, Alicia's on here. She can vouch for it. She put it on and just absolutely fell in love with it. It's the French Terry. So it's, oh. it, this one is a little bit different fabrication than this one. It's got just a little bit lighter, like heavier weight, but not by much. Okay. And it has a shirt tail hem that's really nice. Yes. Just yeah. Okay. okay. That's all the questions I have. Thanks, gals. Perfect. Okay. Susan, I know, Susan, I know you tried to get on. Do you have a question? Yeah, I did. I just have a question. Of, I don't know the name of the sweater that, pairs back to the serenity tee and i know you guys have said we really shouldn't be sizing down in anything I, a lot of times i do that so should that I one not? is probably fine because that one is a similar silhouette to one we had a year ago and uh -huh. it is it that one susan you'll be fine if you want to size down in it okay i okay. know you well enough i'm comfortable telling you that okay Thank you. And it is called the twist yarn cardigan, Susan. Twist yeah. yarn cardigan. Okay. And you'll you'll see that on the Google Doc as well. But yeah. that one is boxy and it does have a bishop sleeve. And I, I know that you don't like everything kind of drowning you. That wow. one, that one I think you're fine to size down. You wear extra smalls enough that you'll be fine with that one. Yeah. Okay. I will just say when you're on the Google Doc, that one and then the um, cords, there's a couple that there's two items that are pictured on the picture. So make sure that you read the description when you go in. The Serenity T and that um, Twist Yarn Cardigan are pictured the same and we have two separate entries for them on the Google Doc. So just make yes. sure. Yes. Description. Yes. Thank you. I, I think I did see that. So perfect. Thanks. Any other questions? Do you guys want to see anything held up to the camera as far as the designs or the pictures? We're so excited to have you all on here tonight. We have decided it's fun to do just a few events live. Now, since we didn't have all the items, did you guys like the PowerPoint? Did you feel like that was beneficial as well? Yeah, you're shaking yes. your head, yes. That's yes. great. I was kind of hoping to see one of you guys in that dress. Which um, one? Like, well, they always, the models are always so stinking skinny. Which one? And I can you're run not, behind my but You know what I mean? They're just like, they're size like one or, and you kind of are too, but. Um, <laughs> Kimberly, which dress? And I'll throw it the, on for the, you. Um, the one behind you. I just want to see. because I have both. So you oh, need I'm sorry. The one with all the awesome colors. The red and yellow, this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me go. I have all the awesome colors. What are you talking about, Kim? I, the, <laughs> the other ones, the colors aren't as awesome. 
<laughs> oh, I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> One that I think has the awesome go. <laughs> Rebecca, could you stand up just a little bit and show that that is a, a zipper on that sweater that you have? Because it's kind of hard to, oh, wow. when it's oh my gosh oh. asymmetrical and then it goes clear so you can oh wow you can open that baby up and get some ventilation in there oh my gosh that is gorgeous yeah it's a really fun sweater i love that we did pear aisle but we did it in a completely modern twist it's super fun and it's navy not black <laughs> That's beautiful. Would that be weird with those cords that are on that sapphire? Mm -mm. Nope. Did nope. you stand up? I wanted to see the way the whole thing fits. I'm okay. not standing up because I'm wearing a goofy skirt. <laughs> okay, oh, guys. gosh darn it. I right. have to tell you that I just dropped my pants to my ankles to do this. Okay. So if you see, my, <laughs> oh, wow, those colors if are you so see my joggers around my ankles, please know why. <laughs> I mean, they're like literally there. Okay. So I, for reference, Kimberly, since you don't know me, I am a size small, which is a four, six through the shoulders bust. And I am five, six with a shorter torso, longer legs. So, so it does, I didn't, I was trying to figure out if it would, um, so it comes in quite a bit. It's not really like an A-line. It no, does have so, kind of a waist to it. No, it would yes. show your silhouette off beautifully, Kim. So, okay, so if you can see, there's actually a waist seam. Yeah. Okay. And I do feel like it is a darling length. Okay. I just want you to know the reason we feel like that is the slip is shorter. Okay. And Rebecca is a little taller than me. Um, but you and Rebecca see, has a freakishly long upper body that most. Yeah. Probably not less with. Um, but there are pockets. Now you can see how cute this oh. would be with a chunky belt and even a little bit of the slip showing through. Kim doesn't wear belts, but she loves pockets. <laughs> okay, but if pockets. you do wear belts, this, this midway seam is perfect for you. And I'm and it does like you can tell that it shows shape, right? I mean, I don't have a lot of excess through here. And that's what we're saying. Most of these pieces are cut so beautifully to create, you know, for the body type. Okay, since I have my, I forgot that we're recording this and I have my things at my ankles, but since I have my pants to my ankles, is there anything else somebody would like to see? I might as well take my shoes off. You may as well throw the other dress on now since you got like, since you got naked for us. I should have shown you the superstar shirt with the joggers I had on before I stripped down. It would have been cute. Okay. Okay. I'll hurry and go behind the curtain again and switch into the other dress. Well, hey, Rebecca, I was going to say that fair aisle. Yes. Does it pretty fitted then? Like, you want to stick with your normal size. I would do a medium, um, I think, Kim. So, yeah, don't size down in it for certain. Okay. I'm debating on that or that sweater coat thing. Kim, I couldn't even put the extra small on and I'm a small. So it's very, it's very lean the way it should be. That is really cool though, the way it's angled down, like it's just got, oh, it's so fun. It is beautiful. That is really cool. That's so all you're getting though, because I'm wearing a pink flower skirt. Okay. <laughs> is Here it going to be, be Ooh, wow, that's gorgeous. In the dress. I am here to tell you though, I don't want to eat a cheeseburger before I wear this because <laughs> it is, it is very, you can see it, it goes right along the body, but it is so comfortable. I mean, if you were going to go to a wedding or anywhere dressed up, you would not be uncomfortable. You could dance and move. And yet it has such a classy, beautiful shape. And the fun part is there is a little bit of a slit right here. I don't know if you guys noticed in the video. And the slit goes is just barely above my knee. 
and then drapes open at the bottom. It's got a little bit of a fun little sleeve here. That you could even tie if you don't like those sleeves. Okay, anything else? Let's see, there is a chat in the box. Yes, she try on the other dress. Try on the other dress. Okay. Yeah. What are you gonna what should you wear that fair isle um, sweater with, Kim? What bottom? Everything. You could wear it with the black dinner trouser and you know, do a little bit more businessy. You could wear it with your favorite denim. Um, you can wear it with our like the colored bottoms, either the Moroccan blue or the explorers that are that russety color. Um, you can really wear it with a ton. It's it's a really nice piece. Okay. I just wanted Thanks. you guys to see tonally the touring jacket that's on the main line is the same color as this dress. Does this help if you guys have seen this jacket to kind of see the color of the dress? Yes, that's and there's, there's even a little bit more of a, a caramel color running through as well, um, which I think is really beautiful. So this with a denim jacket and then Bev, let me hold this sweater up for you so you can see um, the texture of the yarn here. And Bev, I you the Moroccan blue um, cords with this okay. too. Yep, I have those, so good. Bev, I guarantee you probably have a vintage cabbie pant that matches this thread, this yeah, yarn. Yeah, okay. Um, let me great it is with the explorers, too. Rebecca, oh, yeah. you know what? I'm going to show them something. Hold on. Okay. I know it's Bro, while, it while you're transitioning. If you happen to have this vintage car, oh, look. Okay. Oh, it's, has them. Okay. I think Kim has them, too. That's the exact. Yeah, map. it is. I don't have them, though. <laughs> And then our vintage cord jacket, if you happen to have this one that I love so much, it would be really cool layered over top. And Joel, <laughs> I'm just pulling some winners for you. Um, yeah, so this right. would actually layer really warm, right? Yeah. Without wearing a coat. So Kim has that one too. So Joanna and Kim can recreate both of those outfits. Yeah. So if you just did this with a pair of jeans, it would be really classy. So I just want you to see the threading on there matches a lot of the vintage pieces that we have. Oh, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can also tell you that's what's in this superstar shirt as well. So it's the same camel gold colors. So as I said to Kim, I am not a yellow person, but because of this camel color that's very neutral, I can easily do this top even though there's a bright yellow in it, okay? So it's those neutral tones. And actually, look at the camouflage. I mean, the, this is the caramel in the dress too. So does that help you guys on coloring? Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Now that was great. Well, I loved your reaction, Joella. That was fun. <laughs> You're showing my wardrobe. <laughs> Perfect. Is that um, the shirt with the horizontal stripes? Is it like that game day shirt? Kind yeah. of? Well, no. it's so it has the same sleeves. We were just talking about that. It's got the same sleeves, but it is a winter white base with blavy stripes. And then it's not that oversized fit um, mm -hmm. that relaxed game day. It's got more of, while it is still a boxy cut, it has more of a straight cut. Um, since since Amy's putting on all those clothes, maybe Amy could, I'm kind of curious. You already made her take her pants off. Now you're going to make her put I know. Okay, wait, but, what am I, I want to see. The, she wants the, to see the um, striped tee. I'm just curious oh, okay. how high up the neck goes because I don't like crew necks that are 
Hi, you know what okay, I mean? I'll put it's it on for you. But it's before, I do, before I do, I want to pull one of my other favorite vintage pieces and tell you that the button fly cords <gasps> with um, this, does anybody have this? Is going to be phenomenal. I would even put that Fair Island pull, you know, pull over underneath this to really and layer. If you don't want a pattern mix, you can put the um, the sapphire recline tee under. This has this has literally every color from this current fall line in it. It has the Moroccan blue cords, and then it can go to the navy as well. So, just giving you some ideas. Okay, let me. I've got to put pants on though, if I'm going to put that shirt on for her. Because we are recording. Like you. you can go ahead and put pants on. Yeah. Let me just get some pants on and then maybe I can show you the top too. Okay. Rebecca, how long is that Fair Isle sweater? Where does it hit on you? It hits, it hits mid. So I sized up in it, which I would not have needed to, but, and I, get some extra length so okay. it hits kind of like right at my okay. hip okay do you think what do you think for me a small i would do a small yeah i think okay. it's obvious with a small that that's what i thought but i i'm so i'm also long on top i was worrying about I yeah i wouldn't go up to a medium for you i would uh, it would swallow me okay yeah. okay thank you okay here i come ready or not okay I feel like I can't, I'm like cutting my head off. So I, we not that you, guys, you are. don't really need my head. Okay. So mm -hmm. I'm not tucking this in so you guys can see it is not overly boxy, right? So some of our boxy shirts have hung this wide. So this one really drops straight down, which I think is so flattering. This is a small, I'm a true small, like as true as it can get in the top. Um, so it has, and it, and it hits kind of mid hip. And on the sleeves, even though it is a fitted rib, it does allow me to kind of pull it up three quarter lengths if I want. So it's not like cutting my circulation off, but it is snug. You're not gonna wanna size down just for this part, um, but you can easily front tuck this, make it super casual and it fits so nice. Now, that being said, if you guys want, I can put the extra small Fair Isle Thing on and you can see how tight it is being too small. Do you want to see that? Why not? You offer it. Everybody's shaking their head that I can see. Well, I guess I need like a drum roll for a strip show or something. <laughs> Who knew? Hurry up. Gee. I'm crying. Hi. Oh, okay. Let me describe to you what I felt when I put this on, okay? I'm feeling a little claustrophobic, not necessarily here, but I have no extra fabric in my sleeves at all. Now also, because it's too small, it's tugging. Can you see how it's really tugging? But you guys, I, I'm in love with this sweater. It is so soft, but- the Sleeves are pretty short too, so. Yeah. So you're going to notice it's hitting right here and it really should probably hit me about mid hip. Um, but I have no extra, it just feels too small, right? So I could probably get away. I mean, I can't even pull it up on my, I have thin arms and I don't even have enough fabric to feel like I can pull it up. Now I could probably front tuck it. I mean, I could make it work, but I'm just, it's one of those I, it's an extra small, I wear a small, I put the extra small on and my first thought was, oh my gosh, right? You can feel it tight. So I don't know if that helps you on this. Um, Rebecca, on the other hand, it's quite blousey, but there is a cute stylist that's my size that got a medium and she is wearing it a little longer. So if you don't like a clingy sweater, then you can size up but don't size down. If you know, if you like it a little roomier, maybe you want to layer a turtleneck with it and you need a little extra room in the sleeves. That's about the only time I would tell you to size up. Um, otherwise get it very true to size. It's going to depend on how you're going to wear it. If you want to layer underneath it or not, because the sleeves are slim. 
it's warm. Yeah, I don't have I, I don't have enough length in the sleeves for sure. So it doesn't feel it doesn't feel weird to um have that unzipped in, y'all. Because oh, I'm no. not a I'm not a turtleneck person, but you guys are selling me on the sweater with that um being unzippable like that. To be so, honest, to be yeah, honest, like, really, if I had to have it zipped up, especially because this is too small, I would feel yeah. so claustrophobic right now. Like this was perfect for me. And it's comfortable like and that. And you can even you can just even do it part way if you want. Like it doesn't and you can fold it. I think you would want to fold the cuff down a little and have it lay flat. So you don't have to have it unzipped all the way. Maybe you don't want your bra to show if you're going to wear it to work. Like all the way, you're going to have a bra strap. So you could unzip it right to your bra and then fold that mock neck down a little bit. I have to get this off because it's so hot. <laughs> it is right. Any other questions for? Yes, I have one more question. You don't have yeah. the blouse, but um, it was that kind of a white blouse with navy and black through it. Did it have a collar? Uh, that's the ribbon tri trim blouse. Have you yes. seen collection this season already, Bev? What? No, she has not. Okay, so it's got a banded, a banded, um, like kind of a mandarin type collar. Sure, yes. And then it buttons down the front. It does have some ruffle detail at the edge of that mandarin collar. So, oh, okay. Can you oh, see that I see, picture? Yes, I see it. I didn't know that it had that on the uh, top of the sleeve either. Okay. Yes. Thank okay, you now very I much. Show, I want to show you guys the superstar shirt. See the shirt tail bottom on this? And I've got the training jogger on. So this is a shirt that you could easily dress your training jogger up. And then I just have this little casual kind of wedge sandal. So this blouse is kind of a fun one to take a little more casually, but also really nice on great coverage. Yeah. This is what when I was wearing. You, when do you need these um, sheets by again? Are you guys putting the orders in? You, you need your order to me by Thursday night. I'll be ordering on Friday for you. And uh, we, I think, I believe we both do first come first serve so the quicker you get your sheet in the quicker your order will be placed in that priority yes and my clients should have received an email last monday with the um the link to the google document and then again this morning so yes, if same. you are not seeing that then check your spam folder um, or let me know and i we can both get you our links um, and my link is also through my link tree on Instagram. And also I posted the link on my private page. So Amanda, do you have any questions? Elisha, do you have any questions? No questions right now. Oh, my daughter just wishes some of it came in kid sizes i wish everything came in kid sizes i know sweetie my daughter Breely feels the exact same way the the closest one would be the fair isle pullover i think and an extra small <laughs> you and my daughter are the same age and she is dying to start wearing cabby <laughs> in fact i have to give her a few of my shirts and put a belt on them and let them wear as a dress every leprechaun's day she wears a green cabbie shirt and we belt it and she wears it with leggings i kind of wear my mom's stuff but she never lets me <laughs> <laughs> well darn it alicia I'm, it's time to do a closet audit and give her a couple hand-me-downs i know right <laughs> i want to say i want to be sended to school <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said a word. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. Okay. And now.